University of Missouri scientists are beginning to uncover the root of resistance to soybean cyst nematode. By looking at natural resistance in soybean varieties, a team at the MU Bond Life Sciences Center is discovering what happens inside root cells to fight off this pest. We have now pinpointed a key gene involved in resistance to this nematode, which opens up a whole new avenue of research for us to try to understand how the plant defends itself. Soybean cyst nematode causes U.S. farmers more than $1 billion in lost yields every year, making it the most costly soybean disease. The tiny worm enters soybean roots using a needle-like stylet to begin the damage. Plowing through cell walls, it makes its way to the vascular tissue in the root's core through which water and nutrients are transported. The nematode then selects a single cell to turn into its feeding site. It uses its stylet to puncture the cell wall and injects what are called effector proteins. These effector proteins trigger developmental and metabolic changes within the targeted cell. The central vacuole is replaced with highly nutritious cytoplasm, and the walls of the neighboring cells are dissolved to form a single large feeding cell, the syncytium. As the now immobilized nematode feeds, it drains life-sustaining nutrients from the feeding cell, eventually damaging the root's ability to supply nutrients to the plant above. Some soybean varieties evolved to defend against soybean cyst nematode, but years of dependence on these have reduced their usefulness. The currently available soybean cultivars derive their resistance from a single plant introduction or source called 88788. Consequently, we've been planting uh, this single type of resistance in the field for years, and we've selected for virulent nematode populations, reducing now the effectiveness of the currently available resistant soybean cultivars. So farmers may think they may not have a problem with soybean cyst nematode because they're planting a resistant cultivar. However, in the end, at the end, when they, they go to harvest their, their fields, they may see reduced uh, yields. Mitchum collaborated with MU computer scientists and plant geneticists at the University of Illinois Carbondale. They found the newly discovered gene plays a role in producing folate, a vital nutrient for both soybean root cells and the feeding nematode. This change somehow causes the death of the root cell and the nematode attached to it. Now that we've identified a gene involved in soybean resistance to soybean cyst nematode and know that it encodes a key enzyme in one carbon folate metabolism, we really need to try to understand on a mechanistic, on a cellular level, how this enzyme is contributing to resistance. Our attention over the next few years will be focused on trying to understand this mechanism. For the University of Missouri Bond Life Sciences Center, I'm Roger Meissen.